It's a go. Greg has it with him. Yeah, hey there, guys. First, the intensity. It's down to 125 miles an hour. Uh, it is moving west at 9, so it's continuing to move west, but the speed has reduced to 9. This could be the beginning of that turn. This is what these storms do. It's going to slow down, make that turn and then speed northward as it heads over towards the Florida Peninsula. Here's the new official track from the Hurricane Center. Maybe just a tiny shift towards the west. Generally, though, it seems to be in the same area they had it at the five o'clock update. Here are the updated numbers. It has it coming in along the Florida Southwest Coast still as a category four storm. So this is going to be a major hurricane and in continuing north weakening to a category three hurricane by Monday morning somewhere north of Citrus County. That could mean a higher intensity. The thought from the Hurricane Center and a track close to the coast could also mean slower weakening. Right now it's a category three, so they're expecting it to restrengthen to a category four as it crosses between Cuba and over towards Miami and the Key West. Uh, the Weather Service as of now has not made any changes to the hurricane warnings. Those are posted for every county except Citrus County. Citrus County, you're under a hurricane watch. That's just a timing technicality because you're expecting the hurricane conditions later. You're going to be upgraded to a warning a little bit later in the day. I fully expect Citrus County with this track to see hurricane for force winds. Tropical storm force winds begin down south towards Sarasota, DeSoto and Highlands County midday Sunday or even Sunday morning and spread north through the day. We're already seeing the onshore flow produce rain and thunderstorms along the Florida East Coast. These showers are moving into Highlands County. We're going to see some of these into move into Polk County next and the Bay Area. That's why you've got to get ready right now and this morning before the rains move in in South Florida along 75. Not only have we seen additional thunderstorms, but we've seen some tornado warnings issued this morning as well as those storms have been moving towards the west at about 30. So again, here's the latest information. Irma down to a category three hurricane at 125 mile an hour winds moving west at nine. The pressure has continued to come up. That is not a surprise as the center has basically been half over land and half over water battery the portions of the north central Cuban coast. There is Key West in the upper portion of your screen. That would be the first American soil that this storm would directly impact with some of its strongest winds and heaviest rain. So the again, the official track from the Hurricane Center has it uh, making a landfall somewhere along the west coast of Florida, possibly Naples, Fort Myers, maybe even farther north. Again, just a slight adjustment of this track by 10 or 15 miles to the west suddenly puts a landfall location farther north. A slight jog to the east suddenly has the storm hitting Florida closer to Everglades City, and that's because this coast is oriented so sharply northwest to southeast. Just slight changes in the track will make a big difference. What is certain is because hurricane and tropical storm force winds extend and will extend more than 60 miles away from this line, many of us in the Bay Area Regardless of the exact track, we'll see some sort of hurricane conditions Sunday night into Monday, and that's why we're preparing for at least a category three storm to move through the area, potentially maybe even a category four as it's making landfall to our south. So there you see the official track by eight o'clock on Monday, still a category three storm. I'll have to readjust that map after this, this update. That storm could be located near Crystal River in Citrus County by 8 a.m. Monday and everything else heading with that storm will be heading out after eight o'clock. So conditions will improve late Monday. Our power outage index in the darker orange now spreading towards the coast. Indicating there's a high likelihood, folks, that we will see extended power outages. Now, storm surge I know is a concern, and there are parts of our coast that are more vulnerable to it than others. That's going to include southwest Florida. From Fort Myers down through Naples, they're expecting much larger storm surges than here in the Bay Area or the Florida Big Bend and Nature Coast. That's mainly because as Irma is heading up our coast, it likely will be speeding up, giving it less time to push water onshore and into the bay. But because we are expecting us at least three to six feet of storm surge, storm surge warnings are up. They're up along the coast all the way up from South Florida up until the Citrus Hernando County line. That includes all of Hernando County as the storm moves in. Our potential for hurricane force winds is also increasing everywhere you see the red here. 
Tampa, Wesley Chapel, uh, Thanoto Sassa back down towards Apollo Beach, Mayaka City, Lakewood Ranch, all the way down into Sarasota County towards Northport. An 80% or higher chance of seeing hurricane force winds in the next 24 to 36 hours in the orange area, a 70% chance. As we go through the storm hour by hour, we'll see the winds stay OK for today. They will be increasing as far as tomorrow. So we still don't know that exact point that the storm will turn, but we could be getting very close. Prepare for a major hurricane. That's the advice this morning in case the storm does track over our area. Final preps, they need to be rushed today as we are expecting the conditions to go downhill quickly on Sunday. A flash flood watch is also up. If you can hear my voice, you are under that flash flood watch, and that's because 8 to 15 inches of rain is also expected with some of these heavy rain bands and that could lead to some flash flooding for some of you. Let's break down our counties. Here we go. Pinellas and Hillsborough County. I think this computer model is low balling the potential wind gusts, which you see on the screen there. Your worst conditions happen 8 p.m. Sunday to 8 a.m. Monday with wind damage and coastal surge. Probably the biggest concern, though flash flooding and isolated tornadoes are also possible. Citrus, Hernando, Pasco County. You're on screen right now. Your worst conditions a little bit later. 9 p.m. Sunday through noon on Monday, so the storm lasts longer in portions of uh, the north and northern counties towards the nature coast. Wind damage, coastal surge, isolated tornadoes and flash flooding all are going to be major concern. Polk County, you're not at the coast, so surge is not an issue, but flash flooding, isolated tornadoes and wind damage is also a problem. 8 p.m. Sunday to 8 a.m. Monday, the timing for the worst conditions down to the south. Sarasota and Manatee counties, you will be some of the first to see hurricane force winds develop during the day on Sunday. That includes places like Northport, Venice, Sarasota and Mayaka City. 10 a.m. Sunday is when tropical storm force winds may already begin down towards Northport, Venice and Englewood, and they're going to last to just before daybreak on Monday, improving conditions Monday afternoon. Surge and wind damage, the biggest threats. That flash flooding inland locations very possible. Our last stop, Hardy, DeSoto and Highlands counties. Wind gusts here because you could be in the northeast quadrant. The strongest part of the hurricane could be well in excess of 100 miles per hour. 10 a.m. Sunday to 6 a.m. Monday are worse conditions. You too will be some of the first counties to see the storm move through. Wind damage, flash flooding, a big concern, of course, an isolated tornado or two still not out of the question. Did you need some of those maps? You want to share them with friends and family? Here's how to get to them. I've posted them on my Facebook, Twitter, and over towards Instagram. You can get them right now and share them with your friends and family as we continue to watch the storm move through the area. I've got more updates and another look at all that information coming up in just a few minutes, guys. All right, thanks.